Hi and welcome to another video in my channel. My name is Antonio Leiva from AntonioLeiva.com and today I wanted to take some time to do uh, a light um, review, uh, uh, a quick check to a new library that is causing a lot of attraction in the Android community. It is co called Coil and it's meant to be a new uh, image loading library that takes the most out of the new uh, trends in the in the Android development to to build a much simpler and, and powerful uh, image loading library. In this case, the, what they are doing is trying to use the coroutines and also uh, some of the features of the architecture components so that the API and also the features of the library uh, are really powerful but in a very simple way. So if we check at the side of the library, if you see here, Coil base is based on, on four main points. The, the first one is to be fast because they do a good bunch of optimizations uh, like this caching, down sample, sampling, uh, reusing bitmaps, etc. They they have um, optimized the image loading so that it's as fast as possible. It's also lightweight. If you compare other libraries that are used for the for the same thing, like Picasso or or Glide, Picasso has always always been much uh, smaller than Glide because also it has uh, less features. But in the case of Coil, they they wanted to reach the the Glide features, but in, in the size of the Picasso, Picasso library. And how have they managed to do this? Because uh, they are relying on other libraries to do some parts of their work. For instance, uh, they are using OKHTTP OK or Android X life cycles to do some parts that uh, were implemented from scratch on Glide. So thanks to that, they managed to uh, be a much more lightweight than other libraries and also they wanted it to be uh, easy to use. If you will see in a minute that the API is simpler and also it takes the advantages of coding such as the extension functions or, or lambdas and DSLs to uh, make this library much easier to use and, and much more straightforward. And as I already mentioned they are using some other libraries to uh, implement parts of their complexity, so they are relying on them to do some heavy parts of, of it, such as uh, coroutines, OKHTTP, OKO, and Android X life cycles, uh, as I already mentioned. So Coin has been mainly developed by Colin White, who works as, at Instacart, and uh, what I want to do here is to uh, do a quick check of, of how it works. I probably won't dive into many details, for instance, uh, I cannot answer yet some questions as how faster it is when compared to, to Glide or, or if it will work fine on, on huge intensive image apps. I, I don't have answers for that yet because it's very soon, but I want you to, uh, to check with me how this library works and how it can help us improve our, our projects and the simplicity of loading those images that is usually a painful point in, in any app. So let's move to the code. Awesome. So I have this app, which is based on the, on the one that I use in my Coding for Android Developers course. So the first thing I recommend you is that if you don't know about Kotlin, that first learn about it because this library is Kotlin first and very based on the features of the language. So uh, my recommendation is that if you are using this library, you first need to understand Kotlin because otherwise it will be really difficult to, to use. If you check here, there's a section where it calls about Java compatibility. You can take a look because even if you have Java code, you can still use this library, but it requires some, some little tricks to make it work. So once I've done that, uh, as I mentioned, this is the, the sample app, which is very simple. I, if you want to learn Kotlin and start, and start today, I'm leaving you uh, a discount for my course in the in the first comment in this uh, in this same video. And uh, it's very simple. It just has a list of of items that can be a photo or, or a video, and when you uh, get into one of them, of them, it shows the the image and, and the title. 
very simple just to uh, do some quick navigation uh, in, in an app. This is currently using Picasso, though if you go to the media adapter, you will see that I'm not using it directly. I'm using a, an extension function called load URL that then inside uh, really calls Picasso with context lo load URL, URL into this because this is an extension function of an image view. And what we are going to do is to substitute this call uh, with a um, coin. To do this, we first need to add the, the library to build.gradle and let's do it. And I want to show you something that won't work if we do it uh, directly. I'm going back to overview and copying this implementation line. Currently is 060 version. I'm compiling. Sorry, I'm syncing the, the Gradle file so that I can make use of the of this new library. And uh, the use of this library in the more standard way is really easy. If you check here, you just need to call an extension function that is uh, that is called load. It's very simple, similar to, to the solution I, I had already here. Instead of calling load URL, we would need to call a function that is called load and it has a lot of uh, over, overloads. You can use a, a direct string or a HTTP uh, URL, a bitmap, drawable rest, drawable. So all the different situations where you can load an image into an image view are covered here with this uh, load uh, function. So I'm using it and if you check here, we have an error. This is because we need to use the 1.8 version, the Java 8 version, when we are compiling both Java and Kotlin code. So getting back to, to, the, um, um, to the reference of the library in getting started, we are explained here what we need to do. We need to add the compile options to the Android module in the build Gradle. So let's do it here. And also we need to specify that it uses JVM target 1.8 also in a calling code. And to do that, we put it here. So now if we think, we'll see that the error is no longer here. So let's run again and see whether this loads the new the images with the new library. Okay, so here it is. As you saw, it's really easy to start using this library apart from the little configuration that you need to do with Java 8. Then to start using it on your code is so easy because you have an extension function in, instead of having to call the, the singleton of Picasso or of Glide and then remember all the, uh, all the methods you need to call the, for that builder to make that uh, image load. This is only calling the load function and everything else is done for you. So it's an important thing here because if we don't do anything else, this is using a singleton, the same as with Picasso. And if instead of that, you want to provide uh, the, the instance that it's going to be used by using dependency injection, you can do it by uh, adding the, co uh, the coil base uh, library instead of using coil directly. And also if you need GIF support, it's a, another different library that you can add that is called coil GIF. So as you can see, this library is very compartmentalized and they have thought about the different scenarios that where you want to use one thing or another. Because another thing about this library is that it's very focused in, in testing too. So you can easily replace the singleton or even use your own coil instances, your own image loader instances so that you can replace them during your test and all that. Nice, so once we've seen that, we are going to dive into some other features of the library. The first I want to, to check is something that is very used in, in Picasso, for instance, too, and, and also in Glide, that is 
when we don't have a specific image view where we want to, to load the image, but we just want to uh, get the, the bitmap, the drawable, and then put it wherever we want. So to do that, we have a very simple way to do it. In the detail activity, we have the this um, detail thumb dot load URL. We could change this with load too, but here we are going to do something different. Instead of loading it directly into the image view, I'm using the coil dot load method. Here we need to specify a context, as you see here. So let's use this. And then we pass the URL. So media item dot thumb URL. And here in the lambda that receives as a last argument, we can create a target. And the target will receive will receive a trouble. So this drawable is of type drawable and we can use it for instance to load it into the image view detail thumb set image drawable and we can put a drawable here. This is redundant and we wouldn't do that this in a normal situation but for instance if you can put it as the background of, of your activity or or use it in another situation where it's not directly loaded into an image view you can do it with this target which mimics the target of both Picasso uh, and Glide. Another interesting thing that I didn't mention before is that when you load a new a URL you may need to do some configuration so here you can also add, uh, open uh, braces because it's accepting an, another lambda as, as the last argument of the load function. And here we have some configurations that we can do. For instance, we can do something uh, related to, uh, to the errors. If we have an error, what uh, drawable we are going to show or to define a placeholder. Uh, even defining some extra targets or or if we want to enable or, the, or disable crossfades and um, there are several of, uh, configurations here that we can use to uh, configure how we want to show the the image or even the, in the situation where we have some problems we can do something different for instance we are going to configure here the placeholder and we are using a drawable or a MIP map IC launch, launcher. We are running it and let's see what happens. So you see here that for a second until the image load, loads, you can see the placeholder here below. It's that easy. Instead of having to use the kind of builder that Picasso or or Glide use, you can open a, a lambda and do the configuration there. So really simple, as you can see. You may also be wondering whether uh, Coil also has transformations as, as other libraries have, and of course they do. You can implement your own transformations, but but they by default have implemented four which are blur, crop, um, round, and also rounded corners. And to use them, it's very easy. You can do here transformations and apply all the transformations that you need. For instance, round corners transformation or um, circle crop transformation. We are using the circle crop, for instance, 
And if I run it now, here it is. In that easy way, we are able to uh, create circle images with this transformation. Let's say we also want to use blur here. Then we can use blur transformation, which uh, can use some arguments. For instance, it needs the context, but we can also apply a radius and a sample sampling so that it does different kinds of, of blur transformations. I'm going to leave the default one and pass here the, uh, the context, for instance, of the media thumb. Media thumb dot context. This is still uh, showing an error because this call requires API level 18 and this project uses 15, but nowadays I'm sure that you are already 18 or, or later, so it won't be an issue in your case. I'm running it anyway because this is just a lint error, so it should compile anyway. And here we see the, the rounded and also the blur applied to our images. So quite easy too. And this is mostly what I wanted to show you. Uh, one thing that is remaining is how to create your own image loader, the same as with Picasso or Glide, where you can create your own Picasso builder or your own Glide builder to uh, make some adjustments to the, to the use of it. You can do the same with a uh, coil. And to do it, you just need to create an image loader by using this uh, class. You will see here that it needs at least a context. So let's use here, for instance, the view dot context. Of course, this image loader shouldn't be created here, but for instance, in the application or if you are using a dependency injection um, library, such as Dagger or, or similar, you can create the instance there by uh, and then pass it to the places where you need it. But here, to simplify, I'm creating it here, and then it can make use of a Lambda function where you can do some uh, configuration. For instance, here uh, it, it shows uh, we can enable or disable RGB 565 to make uh, to make to make image loader faster but also in a lower resolution or um, the bitmap, bitmap pool percentage uh, the library uses a, a pool of, of bitmaps to, to make it more efficient then you can configure it here if you enable or disable crossfade by default which is this fade effect when the when the image loads at the beginning or there are many things the default placeholder the, the errors etc you have a lot of configuration here that you can uh, use the available memory percentage let's say that we only want to use half of the available memory to this image loader we can do something like this and to use it instead of just calling load we can also pass the image loader argument so here we'll see that the second argument is the image loader so we can put it here image loader and it will use it instead of the singleton one if we want to force the use of, of image loaders instead of the singleton one, as we saw, we can use the coil base instead of the coil library, and we will be safer then. And that's it. Uh, as you see, this is a very promising library. Whether this will be the, the library, the standard library used by most developers, only time will tell. It depends on, on how it evolves, whether uh, it's able to provide the the same features and the same uh, reliability that the libraries that we are using so far. But I personally love that there's a library that is taking the most of, out of the calling features to uh, load images in, in our apps. So if you are also interested in this and many other topics related to Android development, please subscribe and, and also click on the bell so that you receive all the new videos that I upload. 
I'm open to, to test new libraries and also uh, create videos for it. So if you are interested in me talking about another library, please let me know in the comments and I can do a future video about it. Thanks again and see you in the next video. Bye.